Peak A110D technically falls underneath the polynomial uh, unit of study, but it also comes into play during our linear unit, and it's about equivalent forms. The TEEK says the student is expected to rewrite polynomial expressions of degree one and degree two in equivalent forms using the distributed property. Uh, to unpack that a little bit, the students are going to need to rewrite uh, expressions, which are not equations, expressions, just mathematical statements, into uh, simplified forms, and it's going to be using distribution. So what this might look like is the following, and, and notice there's no equal sign, so we're not solving an equation, we're just simplifying an expression. Uh, but we're gonna be needing to use distribution to do so. So we might use do the following. If we have 1 third times 3x plus 9, uh, minus five uh, halves times two x plus six plus three. We're going to need to start by using distribution to simplify this expression. So we would distribute for both the first set of parentheses, one third times three is simply one x plus three. And then distribute again, negative five halves, sorry, negative five halves times two x is going to be a negative 5x and negative 5 halves times 6 is going to be negative 15. Bring down the plus 3 which didn't have any distribution. Immediately the problem looks a lot simpler. Okay, we're able to combine things we know go together. How about all the x's? Those two terms or pieces have an x variable attached to them, so we're gonna combine them together into one piece. So x and a negative five x combined together for negative four x. If we look, everything that's left is just a constant, but a good old fashioned number. We have three, we have negative 15, and we have three. We'll combine them together, which is just adding these numbers using their sign. So we're gonna take a positive three, and add a negative 15, and add a positive three. Uh, three plus, 3 plus negative 15 is negative 12, plus another 3 is a negative 9. Since there's nothing else I can do to simplify this expression together, that's actually where I'm going to stop. That's a simplified form of this expression. It's not solved because there's no equal sign, it's just simplified. Now something you're going to see a lot in these types of questions is the word equivalent. Equivalent is a huge indicator that we're going to be doing this type of problem where we're just simplifying it down. Equivalent means the same. We're looking for something that means the same thing, but is potentially written in a different or equivalent way. You'll see that word a lot. So for example, a question you might see says, which expression is equivalent to 9q squared minus 2 thirds times 3q minus 7 plus 5q squared? Complicated, still degree 2, we're going to need to use distribution, but all we're doing is writing a similar or equivalent form. So we'll take what we know. We know we start with distribution, and that's any number in front of parentheses, and distribute. Anything else you're not gonna distribute, you just write all over again. So I have nine Q squared, negative two thirds times three Q is negative two Q, and negative two thirds times negative seven is positive, negative times negative is a positive, 14 thirds. And that five, uh, positive five Q squared gets to just float down since we didn't do anything with it. Now again, to rewrite it, we're going to simplify it. Put the pieces together that belong together, like the nine Q squared and the five Q squared. Well, the broke positive, so we're just gonna add them. Positive nine Q squared and positive five Q squared combined together, it's gonna be 14 total Q squares. Everything else comes down, we didn't combine it which means that we'd have our answer choice already of answer choice C. That is an equivalent form to that equation. It's written, it's the same expression, just written in a different way. As always, remember, we empower, we impact, we love, we are Skeeter Nation.